everybody, my name is Claire, and today I'm not gonna read any books. And today we're reviewing, and we're gonna review this book. This book name is Matilda. You know, you know it. It even have a movie on the TV. Really funny, but this e this don't. This book don't like the movie. This is an original Matilda. Well, and the writer of this book name is Road Day Hill, and the illustrated is Quentin Blake. The illustrated is who draw the pictures. The the first time I see the see I see this page. I think Matilda has choose one of no no no. I think Matilda has read all this book, and I have look at the movie. She was really smart. I think she has all read all this book, so that's why she can get smart or something. I don't know. Okay, let's start to review it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not very remember. So hang on. Okay. Let's start it. Mm. And first time, I need to tell you the character. Those character in the books. The main character was Matilda. Matilda. She nearly on every page, though. And. And um, Matilda, Miss Honey, or no, I think it's just Matilda. Yes, it's just Matilda. And the other, and the other character is Minnetail, her brother, Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, Matilda's parent, Miss Honey. Matilda's teacher, Bud Trotter, Amanda Tripp, and Miss Trunchbull. Okay, let's start. And Miss Trunchbull is a, is a leader of the school. <coughs> She's really mean. And, and when I see... <coughs> This last page, <coughs> I saw Miss Trunchbull grab a little girl by her hair and and throw her away. I didn't want, I didn't want to be her. Maybe I don't. I quite be hurt when she someone pull my hair. I like, I hate it. And and Matilda has lots of friends like. Like lavender, lavender is Matilda friends too. She has the funniest act. But I won't tell you by now. I tell you when we're reviewing this. Okay, let's start it. Mm. And do you, do you know who's? Mm. No, no, no. And. Your mom and dad always get a job, right? Mm. Mr. and Mr. Swarwood get a job too. But I don't think Mr. Swarwood get a job. Mr. Swarwood get a job. I mean, Matilda's father. His job is selling cars. I wonder how does he get a car from? So, hmm, I just know how, I just know food, hmm, how, how food comes, come to supermarket. But I didn't know where could he get cars from. But never mind. He sell cars. And all afternoon, he, Matilda need to leave alone in the house. 
her mom go her mom or Mr. Swarmwood go to play bingo. Bingo. Um, um, her her brother could be anywhere. But and his father is still selling cars. He hasn't home. And at night they always eat at the living room. They never eat at the table. They they sat on the armchair, put put the tray with foods on on their knees, eating and watching TV. I don't think watching TV every day is good for you. No, and when I'm always eat, I never eat at the living room. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, now it will be a funny, super funny stage about the hat and the super glue. This time, Matilda used his, her father walking stick or a tall stick to reach his hat. His, his hat, though. His hat not look like a cap. It kind of like... Um, very well. Okay, he called it a hat. Then she grabbed up a then she grabbed up a super glue tube. Then she she squeezed she squeezed the the glue into the into the hat. <laughs> that time her her dad didn't notice. Then her dad put the hat on and stuck. I really like the stage. It's funny. And how how can his her father could even get the hat out? Mr. Swerwood used a scissor then cut the hat. Then what now? <laughs> it's really funny about his head. His his head has a hole in him. Like like when you want to cut your hair but the the bar the barber just cut 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 a round a round shape at here. It looked really funny about his dad. For okay, for the next day, Matilda comes to her friend friend house, and she asks, no, her her friend. Learn in her, her same, the same class as her too, in the same age. He has a little pet, parrot. She, the his parrot could say anything. It could say hello, and it could even say creep, a creepy, and a creepy voice with a creepy sentence. And and he's named Nigel. Matilda asked him to let to get no. Matilda asked Nigel to have his pet one day. Nigel said to Matilda, "Is in the morning she need to give back his pet." Well. Then Matilda came home with Nigel's pet, a parrot. Then she put, put it, mm, put it, mm, on, into the chimney. I mean, at the chimney neck. When she put it where a fire, the parrot might might be, might be dead. So she need to put it at the chimney neck. So then, when they at have dinner, the parrot start to say a creepy voice, and it's 
and say hello too. All the family grab a grab a um, tools like like knives, lamp, tray, or or even a pan to to see if the ghost is somewhere to hit it. Mm. For for the next one. Mm. Mm. That Mr. Wormwood is teaching Matilda brother about his car his cars well mm. he he said like he said to him huh how many the cars wait how we long and and something else not very remembered then he answer he answer the no he said the answer is is it it isn't right then matilda said the answer is real it right i didn't know when she is even younger than me like four or five years old she can ask answer a really hard question well I haven't even learned about it. Okay. Mm. So the next stage, it will be really funny. Mm. His mm, to be his mm, to be no. Yeah. Matilda father one using a a what a liquid a violet liquid it looked like purple and every night he put his thumb on his hand and rub on on his hair every day i didn't know what that for though but one day matilda puts puts a kind of liquid like Die liquid that can die, die out of here. Then his dad didn't notice it. He rubbed on his hair. And then at the dinner, his hair turned to, <laughs> it grew and turned to dirty gray. It looked like silver, but it is really dirty. No funny. He think it's no funny, but when I heard it, the family screamed. And Mr. Swermwood said, You all dyed your hair. Isn't that funny? And now Matilda can go start to go to school. I think she had the kindergarten school and her teacher names Miss Honey. She's really she's really friendly and she loves to teach things. Mm. And well and and mm, mm. And at her school, it also had a leader of that school named Miss Trunchbull. She's really horrible and mean. Sometimes she even bark. Sometimes she even sh shout at children. And and I'm really really scared at her. Mm. One time, Miss Trunchbull said to Matilda and Miss Honey is, no, just said to Miss Honey, there is a student and take a stick from under my desk. It must be Matilda. 
Miss mm, but Miss Trench will shout. Then Miss Honey said back is no way. It can't be Matilda. Well then then Miss Honey go start to go to start to go to Matilda family every evening. She go quite late, like in nine or ten o'clock. That time Matilda go to bed. Well, every every time. Mm. And for the next stage, it about poor little girl named Amanda Tripp. Amanda Tripp has a really cute pigtails her mom had tied, but Miss Trunchbull hated it. Ha haven't you heard about throwing the hammer? Miss Honey said to Matilda, because she learned, she learned about what Matilda asked why. Then Miss Honey continued saying, she's learning. No, she's, mm, she's doing the exercise at the Olympics. That time, she, what she do is she grab a hammer and then spinning the hammer, then let it go, then the hammer will, will fly away really fast. And I I wonder if Miss Trunchbull wins though. She, she she is a tough woman. I think she's gonna win. Mm. And and for the next day Bruce Buff Trotter stole a pea, one slice of cake that Miss Trunchbull had. That is her breakfast or a, a snack or something. Mm. He stole one thin piece. Then, then Miss Trunchbull called Bob further on the stage. And she called the cook. Cook made an enormous cake. I think it's going to be big as my table or something. It's really big. Then, then she shout to him, Eat! You had the cake. Now you need to eat all of it. Then, when Bruce Bob tried to done eating it, Miss Trunchbull really angry. She used a a bowl, not a plastic bowl. A bowl. Then she throw it onto onto Bob Bob Trotter head. No, Bob Tr Bruce Bob Trotter head. Mm, his head. He shake shake a little bit, and he feels fine. And he look just like. Kinda like pig because he eats all of the giant cake. Then there we we'll start where I wanted to say to you the funniest thing I never heard about a little girl named Lavender. That was that was Matilda's friend, best friend. Mm. Mm. Uh, best friend. Then, then she go to the pond, a small pond, with a hat, where she has scoop up a newt, ooh, slimy creature. When she put it into her pencil box, then she start to go to Miss Trunchbull desk. When she opened, opened mm, her 
pencil box and let the newt use jump inside and swimming around. But she started to put back her pencil into her pencil box. Mm. And then now, mm, the kindergarten started to have a test. Mm. But then Miss Trunch will shout at the children. Is to no, she she shout as one student. Spell cat. Then he spell wrong. Wrong. He she ordered him to to stand at the corner of a class. Another student. He she shout at him. Spell what? Mm. Mm, he he spells still wrong. Then she she start to grab his ear and lift him up high. He squeals and squeals. Then she, he shout to him, spell what? W H A T. She shout. Then. The little boy cried. W A H A T. She squealed. Poor him. And and this is a stage where Matilda start to have her powers. But mm, then. Miss Trunchbull go into the class and and poured the water out to the glass to drink, but when she poured down, a slimy thing come come out and splash into the, the glass. It wiggled and wiggled. Hmm. Hmm. And and she asked everyone who did it, but but she not asked. She shout. Then she figured it was Matilda, but did not. Then Matilda started to cut her powers. Powers. Then she whispered. Her eyeballs start to hot. And she feels like electricity start to gather in in her brain. Then, then mm, millions of invisible arms with hands start to do it. They start to tip tip the cup, the glass, the cup of glass down, and the newt. Start to jump up, jump up and 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 climb and onto onto Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> She's so mean that that mm, that Matilda is even angry at her. Well, I didn't want to have a Leader, my leader, school like that. Mm. Um. And then, then she's she start to use her powers to do things. One day, one time, she wanted to visit visit Miss Honey House, and she show. Miss Honey showed, showed, showed her cottage to to Matilda. It was it, it it doesn't even look like a cottage. She think she look it look like a a dollhouse. Actually, it is a cottage, but it's just quite small. Well, hmm. It's just like a little 
house from the fairy tales. But inside it, it still have a kitchen and a bathroom and a bedroom and and the sitting room. The actually the sitting room is is the living room. Okay. Um. Miss Honey start to make some tea for Matilda to drink, and her too. And she start to take the bread out to make. Then she lead, she lead, um, she lead um, Matilda to the sitting room. There was a a window and a tree boxes. The boxes as at the right is the chairs. At the left, the boxes at the left is the chairs too. And at the middle is the table. Then we start to have a tea. Then Miss Honey tells a story about her. Mm. I'm has formed on my family. Mm. Then, then sometime later, my her mom dies. Her father work work as a doctor, and we need to care about her too. Mm. Then sometime later, um, he dead too. So, so her aunt need to need to care her, and her aunt is Miss Trunchbull. Oh gosh! Mm. Then, then, then Matilda with Miss Honey come come to Matilda's home. Then, then, eh, then Matilda ah, want, want Miss Honey to answer her questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, said, 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 mm. okay, said Miss Honey. Then, then, she she asked, "What does your aunt no? What when Miss Trunchbull call your dad? What does she call like?" She Miss Honey answered, "Magnus." Then she she had another question: How does your father? Miss Called your Miss Trunchbull like. Then Miss Honey answered. Uh, Miss uh, something with an A. Good mind, let's get it. And and her Miss Honey first name is Jenny. Well, then. At home, Matilda started to practice. She took, she took some objects, but she take it at her dressing table. She sat at her at the end of her bed, and she tried to push and pull and lift that object. Then the then sometime later she started to go to school. She started to go to school. Mm. Mm. Then that time she that time Miss Honey asked the students, Have you all okay? she asked. Then then Miss Trunchbull come and and start to yelling at everyone and start to teaching at everyone. Then Matilda still sit at her desk. She try to use her brain power 
to lift up the chalk, the new chalk that her, that, that Miss Honey had when she started to write. Mm, Alpha, this is Magnus. Magnus, this is Magnus. Then she, she continued writing. You must believe it. Give Jenny, Jenny back her house. Give Jenny her back her wages. Give Jenny everything. Then, then go away. Mm. Mm, if you don't, I will catch you like you got me. I'm watching you, Mac. Alpha, Alpha. Then, then the chalk fell down and broke into two. Then Miss Trunchbull fainted. And then, then at the end, Miss. At the end, Matilda got home, and 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 Miss Honey. Back, back her house, and she had a ro ro rose bush doing something with clippers. Then, when I had when at home, she saw her parents is making something. They said they will leave this place and go to Spain. Go to Spain, and they said we'll never ever come back. Then she ran fast back to Miss Honey's house. And she's still at the garden. And, and then Matilda, Matilda, um, Matilda got there. She, she asked, she, no. She grabbed Miss Honey by her wrist. Then she, then she pulled her to run back her house. She asked her parent, "Could could Miss Trunchbull come come with us?" She asked. "No," he said. Then she asked, "Could I stay? Can you stay with her?" He asked. Then her her family agreed. Then then he packed on the and started to go to Spain. The end. So 